In problem three on your LT10 assignment, we have this problem dealing with seashells. It says Mason is standing on the shore, or the seashore. He believes that if he can make a wish and throws a seashell back in the ocean, his wish will come true. Mason is standing on the origin of the coordinate plane and the shoreline is represented by the graph of the line. Y equals 1.5X plus 13. Each unit represents one meter. How far does Mason need to be able to throw the seashell into the ocean? Round your answer to the nearest centimeter. Notice they were kind of mean to you here. So they told you we're representing in meters, but they want the answer rounded to the nearest centimeter. So when we're done, we're going to have to either convert beforehand or when we're done. I think we'll wait till we're done. I think what we're going to do to start off, let's draw a picture to help us out. It's not going to be a perfect picture. I don't expect it to be. So what happens is Mason is standing right here at the origin. And we have 13 units up. We've got this line, and it has a slope of 1.5. So that means it goes up 1.5 and, and over 1. So our line looks something like this. And once again, it's not to scale. What I need to do, or what you need to do, is you need to find the distance from Mason to the seashore. Well, in order to do that, we need to find the perpendicular distance. So we need to draw in the perpendicular line. Let me switch colors on that. So here's my perpendicular line. I need to find the equation, that perpendicular line, and then I need to find this point so I can find the distance. Well, first off, let's take our original line, which is y equals 1.5x plus 13, and let's rewrite that. Instead of 1.5, let's write that as a fraction. So it'll be y equals... 3 over 2, because that's 1.5x plus 13. Well, the perpendicular line is going to have the negative reciprocal slope. So that's going to be y equals negative 2 thirds x. And since we know it goes through the origin. That's why the equation is negative two-thirds x. You could say negative two-thirds x plus zero if you so choose. And that's what we have to do. Now I want to find out where these two lines intersect. So that's going to be my point. So what we're going to do is we're going to set these two lines equal to each other. I think I'll get out of here. And so what we're going to say is we're going to say, oh, 3 over 2x, make that a little bit thicker again, plus 13 equals negative 2 thirds x. I want to solve for x. I don't like fractions, especially with different denominators. So let's get rid of all the fractions. Common denominator of 2 and 3 is 6. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply each term by 6. That'll get rid of our fractions. Now make sure you actually get rid of the fractions. Don't multiply 6 times 3 and put it over 2. Reduce it. 2 goes into 6 3 times. 3 times 3, that will be 9x. Plus... 13 times 6. Let's use a calculator for that. 13 times 6 is 78. So plus 78 equals 3 goes into 6 2 times. So 2 times negative 2, that'll be negative 4x. Now, let's solve for x. Let's get all the x's on one side. So we're going to subtract 9x from both sides. So then we get 78 equals negative 13x. 
We'll divide both sides by negative 13. I do believe x will be negative 6 there, but let's double check. 78 divided by 13 on the calculator. Yeah, 6. And it should make sense that since you're in the second quadrant, your x coordinate is going to be negative. Now let's find the y coordinate. You can use either equation here. That is, you can use y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 0, or y equals 3 halves x plus 13, because they intersect at the same point. Well, the one that seems simpler to me is y equals negative 2 thirds x. So y equals negative 2 thirds times negative 6. A negative times a negative is a positive. So y is going to be a positive. Well, 3 goes into 6 how many times? Well, it goes in there twice. So 2 times 2 is 4. So my coordinate is negative 6, 4. I'm going to find the distance between 0, 0 and negative 6, 4. So we'll use the distance formula. When finding the distance between two points, first subtract the x's and square their values. Do the same thing for the y's and take their square root. When you find the answer, then you are done. Now, one of the cool things about this one, since one of your points is 0, 0, it really makes it simple to work with. You have negative 6 minus 0 squared plus 4 minus 0 squared. So this would be the square root of negative 6 squared plus 4 squared. And yes, you could have done it backwards, but I chose to do it this way. Well, negative 6 squared is 36. Neg or positive 4 squared is positive 16. So 36 plus 16 is 52. So let's take the square root of 52 on our calculator. So the square root of 52 is going to be 7.211, so on. I think I'm just going to say it's 7.21. Now remember, this is in meters. Our answer wants it in centimeters. Well, there are 100 centimeters in a meter, so we just move it over two places and you get 721 centimeters. Rounded to the nearest centimeter, that's your answer. The important thing to remember is when you're finding the distance between a point and a line, it must be the perpendicular distance. So you're going to have to find the equation of the line connecting those points and then use your distance formula.